G'day everyone, welcome to the Japanese Whiskey Review, I'm Brian and we continue our journey of best whiskies from Nikka Pure Malts, Singer Malts, Miyagikyo, Yoichi all rated 90 out of 100 or better I'll put the whole list of gold medal winners from Nikka in the description and if there's any that I don't do videos on because I don't have full tasting notes you can go just check them out on something like Whiskey Base or somewhere else online like that so, let's go. Okay, this is uh, something special. Sorry I balked there for a second, but I just wanted to double check this one I'm talking about. Because as far as I know, this bottle itself I cannot find on Whiskey Base unless someone put my notes up, which they have done from time to time, from my online blog, and um, put them on Whiskey Base themselves, even though I haven't. And this is Yowichi Petey and Salty. That name may be familiar to you, but it's not the ones you're thinking of. It's, uh, this is the only record I have of this bottle. And uh, we have it, or I have it. This one's kind of coming with the whiskey group on in. But uh, 1989, 12-year-old single cask, and the cask number was 251224, and I rung it at 63.3% ABV. And uh, I'm glad I got it. Let's put it that way. So no, it's Earthy Peat. Sorry, Campai while I'm at it. Hmm. Damp forest floor. Sugared lemons. So if you sliced a lemon, put some sugar over the top of it. Salted poached pears. Saddlebags. Orange peels. Balsamic. Apricot. Brine. Sourdough. Mint leaves. Salted cashews, diesel fumes, lychees, no single element overwhelms. Definitely heavily peated, but very, very complex. Palette, the salted poached pears, again, salted caramel chews, nutmeg, cashews, mint, chocolate, earthy peat, diesel, menthol, white grapes, pepper, the lychees, lemon sherbet, oily, very approachable, even at 63% ABV, unlike all these heavy hitters. Full bodied, finish medium length, yeah, once it's over for a while, it's a, it's a long finish. Nutmeg, mint chocolate, seaweed, lemon curd, diesel fumes, and orange peels. Last word, wonderfully harmonious and complex. And as mentioned, no single element overwhelms, so each flavour and nuance is given its chance to shine. You can tell some of the my old tasting notes over the later ones when I got into a little bit more. However, I don't like to wax too fluffy and, and left of centre crazy, but uh, you can just tell the difference over the years. They could name this, they could have named this peaty, salty, nutty and fruity. I said bravo, you Yoichi. 93 out of 100. And if anyone else can find a bottle out there of this, let me know. Because again, I searched and that's the only one I know of this particular bottling. Of course they would have bottled others. But did they escape Japan? This one did. Escaped all the way to Australia. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.